Hello everyone and welcome to World of Tanks with Black Nike. Today we've got a sub I've got a re uh, subscriber replay for you guys. It's Rocket Soldier in the T125 platooned up with Atliana. This also is a beginning for me on daily motion if you are watching this on YouTube. I suggest you check out the channel on daily motion. At the start the videos there will be shorter and uh, smaller. But if it takes off well, I will uh, think about going over to that site instead of YouTube. Because on YouTube you've got Crooked Baby, Circumflexes, The Mighty Jingles, Maxwell, all those great YouTubers already that actually prevent someone like me to do well on YouTube. And well, I've heard that my videos aren't bad. Even though my talking might suggest sometimes differently. I'm not native I'm English. I'm a Dutch person. My accent actually is quite Dutch and quite awful. But it's understandable English. So that's why I decided maybe that some other sites might support me better than just YouTube. Or maybe I'll just keep uploading on YouTube and on Daily Motion. And if they both turn out to be very good, this actually. Well, in the future will take me uh, some to some choices that I will have to make. And well, at this point, there should be a difference in what's going to happen to my YouTube channel and to my daily motion channel. Everything though will be uh, available on my Facebook page. If I upload anything I will make sure it will be put on my Facebook page. Link down in the description. So yeah, and uh, as you are watching from YouTube the link to my daily motion page will also be down in the description. So you guys will know where to find it. On Daily Motion, my channel this is called Black Nike. And uh, if you don't want to search on Daily Motion for my channel, you can always look at the uh, browser page dailymotion.com/blacknikenl. Okay, Rocket Soldier right here. In the beginning he did actually choose to go to the city, but figuring that, well, the opponents weren't going to uh, have, well, everything in the city, he actually went to this side and decided to try to help the Centurion 7-1. But right now that guy is fighting 1 versus 3. Rocket Soldier doesn't want to have any of that. Shot the Leopard 1 there. Leopard 1 actually hit his driver. So that's a bad, bad thing. But he does get away. Leopard 1 there wanted to shoot his lower glazes once more. But RNG decided that that one has, had to go into the turret front. So the Centurion 7-1 already died. Two T-54s, an STA-1 and a Leopard-1 for as far as we know are gushing forward to try to deal with the opponents as fast as possible to make sure that they can take over the base. Already finding out that one of the T-54s, and I wasn't noticing this earlier, is already almost dead. STA-1 hoping the T-54s are following him in. Takes a big hit there. At this range, even auto aim doesn't fall behind too much. Heat shell in the side doesn't do any damage. Heat shell inside of stir does do damage. Takes out the STA-1. That's a gun less to worry about. That T-54. Well, one behind him actually just got shot by the uh, GWE-100. And the Walker Bulldog now notes has noticed that this side was in a pinch, but with the help from artillery, they've pulled it back. 
Rocket Soldier ta uh, taking a look what the Jagdseeker actually is planning. He doesn't want to rush forward into the T-54 because he knows the T-54 with backup is still very dangerous. Even though it's at that low hit points. But the uh, Walker Bulldog rushes in. Misses, misses his first shot. There comes the Leopard PTA. Rocket Soldier does have a shot at him. But he should have rushed forward immediately now. Not wasting any time. But, well, he chooses to take a look at the Jagdseeker. And tells him to, well, start moving forward. And to help him push that Leopard 1 that just bounced on him again. Just keeps on bouncing on the uh, front of his tank. And another bounce because, well, at such terrain, the T125 actually excels with its frontal armor being quite trollish and quite rounded out. A landscape that isn't flat works out best. So it keeps the enemies bouncing a lot because they can't predict the movement of your tank. Jagdseeker finally managed to pull free there and is now starting to chase after the rocket soldier to try to get some more damage done. In the meantime the Bulldog is saying that the Jagdseeker and rocket soldier are doing shit and calling them idiots and some douchebags and all that kind of stuff. Maybe Rocket Soldier pulled back there a little bit too much, but his shell didn't actually hit the enemy anyway, where it should have hit, but... Taking his time for the bad chat, because, well, you do want to take him out as fast as possible. First being tracked by the Leopard 1, okay, no problem. Almost reloaded there. Actually got bounced by the Leopard 1 on his side. And there's his ammo racket again. And still there's artillery. Well, he's in a pinch there. And he got finished off by Ateliana. So this finishes the match. And uh, yeah, here's the victory screen. A Steel Wall second class mastery badge. It wasn't the best of all games. But it was a good game. Managed to get without premium 1700 experience. A shell proof badge. Fire for effect badge and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, making a lot of credits. Being the one that did most damage on his team. Not got the most experience in his team. And the enemy team though, it did get quite a lot of experience too. But well, they lost so it's a lot less than his own team. Ateliana also doing almost 3000 damage. And yeah, here you can see 13 hits, the shots fired, 11 direct hits, 10 penetrations. Damage blocked by armor over 3000. Assistance damage 707. Made 35,000 credits. Oh, too bad, it's a tier 10 match. Only 745 credits received as a profit. But 1700 total experience where he received a base experience of 863 which is pretty neat and that all without premium so it's uh, a pretty good job from rocket soldier so i hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and well i suggest you check out my daily motion page so well maybe that will do a bit better than my youtube page goodbye and see you all next time